These are three types of volcanoes. Cinder cones, spatter cones, composite volcanoes. Composite volcanoes are, are also called stratovolcanoes. They are formed by alternating layers of rock lava and rock fragments. This is the reason they are called composites. Composite volcanoes usually erupt in an explosive way. This is usually caused by vicious magma. When very vicious magma rises to the surface, it usually clogs the crater pipe and gas in the crater pipe gets locked up. Therefore, the pressure will increase, resulting in an explosive eruption. Strata volcanoes are often impressive snow-capped peaks, peaks which are often exceeding 2,500 meters in height. Between eruptions, they are often so quiet they seem extinct. To witness the start of a great eruption, it requires luck or very careful surveillance. Although strata volcanoes are usually large and conical, we can distinguish different shapes of them. Concave, pyramidal, convex concave helmet shape, collapsed collatera, nested, multiple summits, and, and an alligator along a fissure. Cinder cones are among the most common volcano landforms and volcanic landforms in the world. They aren't famous as their eruptions usually don't cause any loss of life. Cinder cones are chiefly formed by Strombolian volcano eruptions. These cones usually grow up around up in groups and they are often occur in the flanks of strato volcanoes and shield volcanoes. Cinder cones are built from lava fragments called cinders. Lava fragments are ejected from a single vent and accumulate around the vent when they are fall back to earth. Cinder cones grow rapidly and soon approach the maximum size. They rarely exceed 250 meters in height and 500 meters in diameter. The shape of the cinder cone can be modified during its short life. When the position of the vent alters, aligned, twin, or secant cones develop. Nested, buried, or breached cones are formed when the power of the eruption varies. When hot, when hot erupting lava is just not enough explosive gas to prevent the formation of lava flow, but is not enough to shatter it into small fragments, the lava is torn into expanding gases into fluid hot clots. Ran, run, ran shield volcanoes may be produced by hot spots which lay far away from the edges of tectonic plates. Shields also occur in, along the mid-oceanic range, ridge, where seafloor spreading in, is in progress and along subduction-related volcanic arcs. Spatter cones. Spatter cones are formed when, when the molten lava is ejected it has a shape of si similar to taffy. The expanded gases in the lava tear the liquid rock into, into mishap or irregular shapes rocks that fall back into the ground. The forms, it, this forms a heap around the, the vent of the volcano. Partially liquid rock splashed down during a volcano is called spatter. Spatter is not fully solid when it lands on the ground. Therefore, the size of the shapes can be completely irregular. This spatter then molds together. Spatter cones are formed during volcanic eruptions with high magma. Thank you for learning about volcanoes.